hello everyone welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for checking out on this video so if you are new here please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you are old here thanks so much for checking out in this video again so in this video i'll be showing you how to make this nice looking thumbnail on the, on the desktop right now using photoshop so let's get into the video all right so first of all here we are in photoshop and the first thing that you have to do is create a new document so you go to file and then you go to new um, i'll be creating 1920 by 1080 document that is the basic size or the actual size of the youtube thumbnail in photoshop so you click ok when you are done now actually you have to get a picture of yourself the picture that you are going to use for instance i have my pictures over here so i'll go to file and then i'll go to place and then these are the pictures or this is the particular picture that i'll be using but i'll i'll try to include or insert these pictures in it so that you can see how you change it the next time that you want to use it so you select your picture and then you you click on place so it has almost filled the thumbnail which is very nice and then i'll just go on the edges and then i'll stretch it out a bit like this and then since the head has just i'll just bring it down small like this and place it around this place okay so i'll just take this particular thing over here and then it indicates that um, i'm done with it so you just go ahead and then you right click and then you rasterize the image okay so first of all i would like to introduce you to the um the adjustments in photoshop these are the adjustments you have the brightness to desaturate a whole lot of stuff but basically the brightness will allow you to brighten or yeah something like that and then you contrast the contrast will allow you to just make some adjustment to your images all right so, but the, the one thing that i want to use is the hue and saturate scene over here actually you can go through the curves and the um, the levels and exposure but i want to use the hue and saturation over here so i'll just increase the saturation small to get my rates a bit higher and then i'll click ok so i have my picture ready right now and next thing that i'll do is i'll go to this particular place and then i'll select the rectangle tool over here i'll draw any rectangle around this place and then i'm going to make use of the color in a attire so i'll double click on this particular you see the layer thumbnail and i'll double click on it and then i'll just click on a attire and then it will give me the color of the attire so let me click around this place that is brighter the more and then i'll click ok all right so on the rectangle that we just created we are going to um, put in the test but we don't want to put in straight so i'll select the test tool and then the test that i'm going to use is called bebas i'll include that in the description bebas and then i'll change the color to white and then i'll start to type anywhere you just type anywhere so this is a tutorial so i'll type how to make all right so i'll just press ctrl t to resize it and then i can place it in this particular rectangle very nicely like this so let me resize it small like that and then i have this very nicely right so i'll just go ahead and right click on this one go to blending options and in the blending options there are a whole lot of things that you can do you can use the bevel and emboss which will allow you to you see how the test has changed to you can talk of the stroke and it will give you some outlines you can change the color from here red and then black or yellow anyhow you want it but let me stick to black right and then the shadows you can just drop shadows and anyhow like that so i'll drop the shadow and then i'll go back all right so let me decrease this small like this so that it will fit in the um, rectangle that we created so basically we are just going to be copying and pasting please take note of this one so i'll select the rectangle i'll press ctrl j and command j if you are using a mac 
and then it will make a duplicate of the rectangle so I'll just bring it down just like that and then I'll press ctrl T and then decrease that small see how it works so you just take your time to position it and then just like we did in the first thing you double click on this one and then you can change the color which color should I even pick let me pick a color around this place all right um, I think here we do okay so I'll just click OK when I'm done and then I'm going to duplicate the test again Control J and then I'll bring it down select the test and then I'll edit this one too how to make um, a thumbnail how to make YouTube I, I nearly forgot so you press Control T and then you decrease it out and then you can select the rectangle again press ctrl T and then just bring it closer like this one right so I'll select the last rectangle or the first rectangle that we created and then I will press ctrl J and bring it down again so basically I'm having three rectangles and mind you you can just create the rectangles first and then you insert the text or anyhow you just want to make it you just have to know how to create the rectangles how to create a text how to edit it and that's what I'm showing you so you double click on it and then I'm choosing another color from here um, it might not be equal to what I have on my desktop but don't worry it's just a matter of you knowing how to do it right okay so I'll duplicate this one again and then I'll bring it and then I'll edit it to um, thumbnails. Am I right? Yes, I think I'm right. Yes. So I'll just try to reposition this once. And then I think I'm done. This is a very simple thumbnail that you can create for um, anything. But then I'm going to insert or place um, the YouTube icon over this particular thing. Oh, let me go back right so I'll just decrease it small and then I'll turn it and then bring it down over here so I think this is perfect and then I'm done so after this you can go to file and then save and then you can save your work as a JPEG or any format that you want it but mind you YouTube accepts only JPEG and PNG and then you can give it a name so thumbnail and then you can save it so you can save it for future use you can save it for any other purposes but if you want to make use of this in the in the near future you just have to save it um, with a PSD format or TIFF I usually save my works in TIFF so I have TIFF over here and the PSD is the first one I hope I'm right yeah the first one PSD and then you can make changes to this in the near future all right so should in case you are done with this one you want to replace um, your next picture or your next tutorial or your next video you want to make another thumbnail for it it's as simple as just abc just select the last or the picture over here go to file and then go to place again and then the next picture that you want to use you just bring it in and then you place it up so it will be on top of this layer and then you can increase it out just like this if you want to you can turn off this particular eye if you turn off the eye it means that you don't have anything under this particular image so you just go ahead and then rasterize and add the adjustments anything that you want to add so this is how to make a very simple thumbnail in Photoshop I think the colors are very bright and then everything is very nice you can make great use of this particular um, tutorial to make great thumbnails you can try um, different styles and different adjustments and different colors to make your thumbnail look very nice and catchy so thanks so much for spending your time to watch this video I hope you give it a like and you comment subscribe thanks so much for your time I'll catch you in the next video bye